Good morning guys welcome back to the channel happy Friday to everyone I am making this video just out of our experiences and our personal views if someone has a different experience or different views please put it in the comments below but these are personal views as Indians in America let's start Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hi everyone, good to see you all. Okay, so Karishma, we had a, a stressful week because school started and a lot of changes. But uh, I think yesterday was the first day, today is the second day of school. So how did it go? Um, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty big change. Um, like we were talking about a few videos ago, the school was kind of trying to figure out a blended approach where some students would come in and some would uh, you know log in from home yeah but a few days ago our town took a decision to really have remote instruction right through middle of October so yesterday was the first day of school um, exciting but you know the kids were at home itself I, I think it all went yeah. well uh, went well I think one one observation I had was they get a bit restless sitting in the same chair in the house That's or the true. the same table because in school there's so much of outdoor activity and playground and everything uh, did you think they had an issue sitting around for I so long it's it's a bit of a change because um, a your teachers and the rest of your class is pretty much remote so you see them as small boxes on your computer screen um, and there there isn't that in-person interaction that they're probably used to but i'm hoping over time children are resilient and they're adaptable so I'm hoping they'll get used yeah. to it so I, I'll make a promise to you guys we'll make a detailed school back to school video online school uh, maybe in a couple of weeks yeah once we have a little more experience in terms of how it goes yeah okay so today's topic as you've seen the title you know we we are not here to make it a negative topic at all because we personally had really no ex ex experience of it being negative but Karishma you worked in the US and you've lived in the US for over two states and you know 10 years probably total eight to ten years have you faced any kind of racism in any form have you observed anything have you felt anything I mean I've been pretty lucky or maybe I have a thick skin <laughs> uh, but I haven't like we, we've it's definitely um, you know a big topic you can't really wish it away it, it is a reality in in our you know in our society in different ways but I have been, um, you know, fortunate that I haven't personally been, you know, directly uh, been kind of gone, th gone through something like that, which, which I think is a blessing. Or like I said, yeah. maybe I just had a thick skin. I haven't even picked it up. But yeah, people, you know, everyone says like, if you have, you know, some thought process, you have a brain, you have unconscious bias. So uh, we all have to make sure that, you know, we're conscious of what we are biased yeah. about unconsciously and just be conscious around it. Yeah, like like people who meet us, they may ask, uh, we were just discussing before the video, they may ask us like, where are you from? You know, now that is not racism, that is just curiosity. But, but you may feel out of place because if you're an Indian who's born here, like my daughter is an Indian who's born in America, uh, or rather she's American, now, if someone asks her when she's 18 or 20 that where are you from, she may feel offended. What What do you think about? Oh, that is true, and and it's it it is that bit of you know what is called like a microaggression where the intent is like yeah. you said you know curiosity or you don't even realize, but you you could be inadvertently really you know hurting the other person or offending yeah, the yeah, other person yeah. the other one tends to be oh you're from you know india how do you speak english so well yeah. and maybe in their mind they're like oh that's really cool but in your head you're like no why yeah. would you say that yeah it i get i get that a lot like what language do you speak at home now we actually speak only english at home because you know my hindi is so bad but they will ask like how do you speak english so well you know uh, you know what language is your mother tongue now my mother tongue is english so be it but they will ask because of out of curiosity it's not a racism but you know i personally have felt some people will stare at you in a bad way and maybe they do that more with men and not women you you may not get that because you know with women they are very polite and they're very sweet but sometimes with men i don't know i've personally felt you know a dirty look or a stare just for nothing like you can tell that someone is looking at you and this may have happened maybe two times in 10 years. So I'm not trying to uh, again talk about it as a negative. 
but they will give you a dirty frown or a look as if to say who are you where are you from you know so that that can be judged just by facial expressions have you felt that in the subway or traveling or anything no no so karishma has been the luckier one of us actually both of us have not felt any any kind of racial uh, you know looks or vibes or talk or abuse nothing nothing and we've lived in new york new jersey louisville kentucky which was you know complete uh, you know red state but we we've never felt that so yeah no and again we're talking racism and my my two cents on the topic is we all have biases and i mean i i am you know a woman and i have like yeah. even back home in india you would have comments like this um you know come to you just because oh you know you like xyz can't think that folks yeah. would like xyz just because you know yeah. you're a lady or a woman so i think it's just that those biases exist irrespective of where in the globe you are i think it's on to us up to each of us to make sure that you know we are conscious and we are super self aware and you know respectful of people yeah. around us and and we are a couple who have friends of all uh, cultures like i have a polish friend a korean friend a, a puerto rican friend many american friends so we it's not that we only hang out in the indian circle just so we don't feel it we we've, we've been with all friends in fact i go to a local starbucks here i have a group there of course now with covid we've not gone but they are all different nationalities and age so it's important to have different friends and and then you get accepted in the uh, you know the culture very soon so you know if we were only hanging out with the desi crowd or the indian crowd probably then you you feel that you're siphoned away from the actual america you know but but, but but i think just that getting exposure to that diversity when it whether it's from yeah. a cultural point of view from a you know background perspective it it opens up your own perspective because you know we've we've grown up in a particular environment in a particular part of the globe so just you know being exposed to how other people think what's their thought process yeah. what's their cultural um, you know orientation is is quite um, Yeah. It's quite us, uh, you know, um interesting for for us to kind of think a think about and and be exposed yeah. to as well. So, yeah, so guys, we'll end the video here. We're getting back to work. It's a busy day for us. Though it's Friday, the kids have school, we all have work. And yes, the videos are going to be little less now because we're just too busy now, so you'll see us little less. But we plan some nice videos for this weekend, so let's hope. Anyways, uh big thumbs up for america on the racism you know i know a lot of news media talks about racism a lot these days but we personally have not you know i would say not even a 1% that we felt it the examples we shared are what we shared that's about it nothing else right and i think like there is a journey um you know thankfully our personal experience is slightly different but at the same time we are we are aware that a lot has to just generally happen in this space so fully supportive of that effort as well yeah all right thanks guys for joining thank you karishma for featuring again thanks for having me all right everyone enjoy your weekend have a lovely weekend guys take care bye cheers bye bye